Hey everyone, this is Alexander James Guitars, and welcome to another episode of Fix It Friday. Today on the bench, we have an Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray bass. It's in for full setup, electronics check, and potentially an electronics rewire. So let's get into it. So I've just plugged in the bass here, and I'm just gonna quickly check the electronics. Um, the customer had said that the actual poten potentiometers of the bass were quite crackly, so I'm going to see if we can hear that right now. So I don't, I don't know if that's coming up through the camera. That one's scratchy. Not so much. Yeah, and that one as well. So I'm going to have to take this plate off, go in and take a look what's going on. So what I'm thinking here is, I'm just thinking that, you know, even though the control cavity looks pretty clean in here, and there's no uh, carbon paint or anything like that for, you know, creating a conductive surface, there could be some type of, you know, grit or grime in, in these pots. I, you know, it's, it's hard to say what's causing that. I'm hoping that it's that the traces in the pots hasn't you know, been completely worn down and that's why we're hearing that crackling. But what we'll do is we'll give these pots a clean on the inside with some electrical contact cleaner and hopefully that'll solve the issue. Just gonna drip in some of this uh, contact cleaner. Paper towel is here for protection. Hopefully this will work. It's hard to manipulate the uh, electronics with the how tight they've done the wiring in here. So you just got to be careful not to scratch anything up. Once you put the contact cleaner in there, just give it a good turn back and forth. I think actually this this pot actually looks like it was replaced at one time because these are all the uh, PCB style mounted pots with the extended legs and this one actually has three uh, terminals coming up and soldered to the pot normal like a normal pot so you know it's again it could be a low quality pot that's causing the issue so I'll give them an extra dose of this just to make sure and again turn those knobs back and forth trying to clean that up and we'll take a we'll plug it in and we'll see if it fixed it I'm just gonna plug in the base now and check the pots and see if these two are still scratchy So that one's that one's much better now and then this this one right here okay interesting so th there's still some scratchiness on the pot I don't know if you can hear that but I just noticed that here I'll, I'll turn it you'll hear that scratchiness and then I'll grab the plate and you can see that 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 scratchiness goes away there scratchiness is back and I'll just touch the back of the pot now it's much less and then the plate again 
So there's got to be some type of grounding issue going on here. So we got to figure that out now. So right off the bat, I can see that this this ground connection to the pot in in question, it looks, you know, like a bad connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolder that. I'm going to actually scratch a spot on the back of the pot here, and I'm going to resolder this right there and then i'm also going to touch touch up these three solder joints here uh for the for the pot and as well as the ground wire here there that's the connection right there for it um and hopefully that'll fix it and well we'll give it a test right after and see so i'm first off i'm going to take off this sketchy looking ground wire And I'm just going to, right in the corner here, I'm just going to scratch a new spot. Just take a good look. I think that's good. I think that's good. So I'm gonna just hit that with a little bit of solder just to, you know, like prime it, see if it'll stick. You gotta give it a good amount of heat, not too much. You don't wanna go crazy on the back of the pot here, but there we go, a nice little bead. I'll just re-tin up this wire right here, just there we go, because I know I'm using good, good solder, so I don't know what was used before. And then I'm just going to pull this wire over and connect it to that new spot I just made. So you can see it instantly took. Hold it there. Don't wiggle it. Let it, let it completely cool. And then these three spots, I'm just gonna hit real quick with solder. Always remember to clean your soldering tip. See if we can get this old stuff off. Yeah, see, look at that. So it most likely had a real bad connection. So now we'll give you, we'll give that a try and see if that helped. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn on the amp here and give it a check. We'll see if it helped, fixed it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, see that scratchiness is still there. So we may need to replace this pot. So we'll go we'll go ahead and try that and see if it fixes the issue. So first off, I'm just going to take this knob off. Let's see if it will there we go. Uh, I'm just I'm also going to disconnect that ground I just made on this on this pot. And then I've got to disconnect those three flying leads to this pot. So we'll see if I can get in there and do that. One. Two. And this last one. Mm. 
There we go. And I'm just gonna unscrew this and then uh, install install a new pot. So again, with this new one, I'm just gonna scratch a, a small solder spot on the back here. Sometimes you don't have to, sometimes the pots are fine and you can just kinda solder on the back of them, but it's always good to make sure that you can, you know, get a good solid connection. double check that is enough and that it's solid yeah see it doesn't it doesn't even break off you don't want to gob it on you know like crazy because you want to avoid overheating the back of these pots and then I'm just gonna solder this ground wire back on there we go and then I'm just going to position uh, the lugs here of the pot and then we'll solder those flying leads to it Okay, now I plugged it into the amp, as you can hear. And we're gonna give it a go and see. So, much better. I guess it was the pot. I guess uh, the pot had worn down or been heated too much or something like that, so.